Hey, it's Ross Newton from crowdpro.com and today we're gonna to show you how to get started with Crowdpro social walls in just five minutes. I'm logged into app.crowdpro.com and we're gonna to go to create experience and you can see we have trivia, bingo, polls. We're gonna to go to social walls today and we're gonna click create and a social wall basically lets your crowd upload messages and photos and selfies from their own phones and also it can pull in posts and selfies and pictures from Twitter as well. We formally offered Instagram, but that integration is currently not working. So we're just going with, we're gonna just be talking about trivia and or uh, Twitter and posting from your mobile device today. So underneath create social wall, we can add a header such as post your best meeting, your best conference photos. And we're gonna click next here and we're gonna click that we wanna allow posts from CrowdPur, allow posts from Twitter. And when we do that, it's gonna ask for a hashtag. Now this would be the hashtag for your event. Maybe it's uh, you know employee get together 2021, hashtag, uh, hashtag you know, our conference. For the purpose of this demo, we're just gonna do something that's gonna have a lot of results. So we're just gonna do hashtag cats. And we're gonna click save. And like I said before, Instagram is currently down. We're working through that. It may be something that we have to end up removing actually. So for layout, the default four column a mosaic is okay and we'll click next and we'll call it uh, our company social wall and we'll click rock and roll and we're going to go through crowdper by default sets a lot of good default settings for you uh, we're going to go ahead and um, tweak a couple of those but uh, go ahead and click on projector view and this is going to bring up the projector uh, the presentation view of your social wall now this is something you can stream on zoom or youtube live if you're doing a virtual meeting or if you're in a in-person conference this would actually we call it the projector view because you would put it on the overhead projector and it would be blasted out there in front of all of your crowd and this is what lets your crowd join in and post so they see the qr code in the lower left hand corner or they can manually just type in crowd.live and enter the code or they can just go on to twitter and use the hashtag cats and like i said before that would be the hashtag of your event so that's how crowdper knows to pull those in and we see the code is 6ctuz and the second thing we're going to open up here is the mobile view. Now, this is the crowd view of what your crowd sees on their mobile device. And when they join your social wall, they're going to need to type in a nickname. So I'll just put in Ross. And then that's going to wait for your social wall to start. And when I click start, that's going to automatically start querying from Twitter. And we can see we already have some posts that came in from Twitter. And that's going to pull in hash post with hashtag cats about every five minutes. And so if we go back to that projector view, we can see we already have a bunch of posts with cats. Now we're getting a lot of international posts and kind of crazy stuff because cats is just coming in from all over the world. But you can now full screen this and we can change uh, some of the display here. We can make it a two column mosaic. You can make it a spotlight mode where you're showing one at a time. We can turn off um, the social wall speed to where it just uses a space bar. So this is great for cycling through the posts that your crowd uh, puts in. Um, or if you just want that you know, mosaic with showing a lot of posts, you can leave it on like that. And now, um, as I said before, these are posts just coming in off Twitter. So if your users are just tweeting with your hashtag, then those will come in automatically. If they don't want to use Twitter or Instagram or don't have those, you can post through CrowdPur, which is what's going on here. So if they scan that QR code or go to the URL, we can say, uh, here's, here's uh, my best photo from the event. And they can just click this to upload an image or bring up a selfie. So we're just going to click a photo here that we have on my desktop and go ahead and upload that and we can crop that press the green check mark and say submit post and now that's going to submit directly from crowdpur it doesn't need to use twitter or anything like that and um you can see that that post populated there and the picture is going to come in there and if we there, there's the picture there so that's just going to cycle our photos and our posts and we can um, change colors and do different things there and we did get a notification here because our, our, our participants have went over the 20 uh, participant limit and that's what happens when it's bringing in so many posts from Twitter there's so many posts that it's going to go over that limit pretty quickly but if you upgrade to one of our premium plans you get more participants and if this were your actual event you wouldn't have that many posts coming in with your hashtag so when we're done we can press stop to finish and we can uh, reset our social wall 
and we can review all the po uh, all the posts here. That was a f quick five minute explanation of CrowdPer social walls. If you want more detail, be sure to check out our video here, full CrowdPer walkthrough for all the details and all the advanced features. Thanks so much for hanging with us and we'll see you next time.